right. Did you have fun making piles of the same amount? Now that we're done with math using our laundry, we're going to move on to literature circle. And this week, the letter of the week is, that's right, it's the letter R. Okay, for Reggie Rooster, the letter is R. The sound is R. Say it again. The letter is R. The sound is R. Okay. So today we are going to pretend that this is our whiteboard right here on the floor. And we are going to write our letters with our clothes. Yeah, we're going to make R's with our clothes and then we're going to make numbers and maybe we can make some shapes also. We haven't talked about shapes in a while, right? Okay, so to make the letter R first, I need a long straight line. So what can I use that's long and that can be straight? Yeah, let's use our pants. So maybe I'll get one of my pants here. So, okay, my sweatpants, okay, there we go. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm gonna build an R. Okay, and then what do we need after that? We need a curve. We need a curve, a small curve from the top of the R to the middle of the R. What can I use for that? Yeah, a long sleeve shirt. Okay, so let's take my long sleeve shirt up and put it together. Let's see if I can make a curve with my R. Okay, like that. Is that curve too small? It looks like it might be a little small. Mm, I might need another, another article of clothing. What should I use? Something smaller, yeah? Like a tank top? Okay, I'll use a tank top. So here's a tank top. And let's see, oh, there we go. So, go ahead, did you make your curve? Did you make your straight line? Did you make your curve? And now, what kind of line? That's right, we did, we made a P, didn't we? For Peppa Pig, okay. And now we need the R to kick out with a short, diagonal line, okay? Short diagonal line. What should we use for that? You think another tank top? Okay, I'm gonna take another tank top and I'm going to make an R. Let's see if that works. Oh, I think that works almost perfectly. Did we make the R? Yes, say the letter is R, the sound is very nice. So now, I want you to build the R one more time. Go. So undo it and maybe use something else. So this time, maybe I'll use this. Okay, see if you can build your R faster than this boot. Go. I'm going to make this. And how about, I'm going to use a t-shirt. Maybe two t-shirts to make, to make this. Okay. Are you done already? Wow, you're so fast. I'm still working on my curves. Okay, there we go. All right, and I like that idea. How about let's use a yellow, a yellow tank top on the bottom. There we go. Okay, did you make your uppercase R? Good. Okay, so I'm going to return it to their rightful piles and let's build lowercase R's. A lowercase R, okay, has just a short straight line down. So what should we use for a short straight line down? 
a tank top? You like the tank tops, don't you? Okay, so let's use the tank top. Okay, so there we go. And then, do you have your tank top or do you have your straight line? Uh huh. And then we're going to start sort of close to the top, not all the way to the top, and a short curve, half of a curve, okay, towards the top. All right. And if you notice, the top of the curve and the top of the short line are right at the same place. And if we were to write this on our our lined paper, this would just reach up to the fence, okay? So, how can, so it's not, it's not gonna be that long. What should I use? My shorts? Okay, what about a pair of shorts? Let's see, maybe I can use the shorts to make a curve, just a small curve like that. Oh, I think that works. Okay. Did you make your R? Yeah. The letter is R. The sound is R. Wow, the rain's really coming down. I hope you can hear me. All right. Okay. Now I want you to build the R again. Lowercase R. Are you ready? Can you do it faster than this move? One, two, three, go. Um, this time, I'm going to use another t-shirt. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll use a pair of socks for my R, so, for my curve. So there's my straight line down. And how about socks? I think socks would be great for an R. Oh, look at the already curved the way it's supposed to be curved. There. Ta-da! I finished my R. Did you finish your lowercase r? Yeah, what did you use? Nice, all right. Okay, and let's see, do you remember last week's letter of the week? L, L is so easy to make, isn't it? Can you make a capital L for me using your laundry? Ready, go. Mm, a different one, different one. Did I say capital? I did, didn't I? Capital L. Um, how about, how about, how about, oh, this tank top might work because it's small. There we go. There, I made a capital L. Did you make a capital L? Yes? All right, okay. How about, what's another letter you would like to work on? Ooh, that's hard. Tell me what letter this is. S that's right, it's the letter S. Are you sure you can build a letter S? Ready, go. Okay, what? So, first I have to curve it. Curve, ooh, I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need a lot, okay. Another curve, and oh, I'm curve it some more. I think I might need one more. You know what? Maybe this one. Okay. All right, I made my S. Did you make your S? Yes. How many pieces of clothing did you have to use? Miss Wu had to use one, two, three articles of clothing. Yes. That was kind of fun. You know, the, one with, the ones with the curves are kind of hard. What other letters have curves in them? A lowercase g. Oh, okay. So let's look at a lowercase g. A lowercase g starts with a, sorry, Miss Boo had to write it this way because it makes it easier for me to see. So it starts with a, with a C and then we 
add a long straight line and then a curve on the bottom. So, are you ready? Let's put this back where they belong. Okay. And yep, that goes there. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Make your lowercase g. G, g, g. Make a curve. Make a curve. Ooh. I'm going to use this for my curve. Use my pants, come on pants. Okay, for a long straight line down. So, a long straight line down. And I'm gonna have to move it up. Oh no, I think TK's gonna beat me. Okay, but that's okay. And then what else do I need? Oh, I need a curve at the bottom. Okay, so, let's find me a curve at the bottom. There we go. Okay, I made a lowercase g. Did you? And how many articles of clothing did you use? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, you might have to use more because your shirts and, and uh, pants might be a little bit shorter than this booze, huh? Yeah, and what, what sound does g make? Mm -hmm. The letter is g. The sound is g, 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 as in Gertie Goose. Very g, 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 good. Okay, let's put this back. And here we go. How about let's do some numbers. So yes, last week, the letter, the number of the week was seven. What comes before seven? Six. That's right, my tank tops is a pile of six, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna try to just use tank tops then to make six. Are you ready? Uh, the six looks like this. First, you make a big C, and then you give it a belly, okay? That C wasn't very good, Miss Boo. I know, I touched my own knuckles there. So let's try it again. I'm gonna put this. Okay, I'm gonna make a better C right here, or a better six. There you go. Okay, mm, that's better, but still not very good. Let's try it once more. It's kind of hard writing upside down. How about that? Okay, something like that. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm gonna try to use. Should I use six? Yeah. You think so? Okay, I'm going to use six tank tops to make the number six. I want you to use six of something to make the number six, okay? First, I have to make the C. We were at seven. Take one away. Okay, take one away. Six. Take one away. Five. Let's do the number five with five pieces of clothing. Okay, let's write the number five. Here we go. I'm going to use this for the top and I use this and I double it up. Okay. Are you making your number five? 
Okay, oh, would you like me to write out the number five? I'm sorry, did I forget? I just got so excited. I wanted to build my number five. Okay. So five, you have a short straight line at the top, a short straight line going down, and a big giant curve to the back. There's your number five. Okay, let's see, one, two, three, okay, I think I don't need something so long, so I'm going to use something shorter, like my shorts here, four, and one more, one more, okay, and five. Does that look like a good five to you? Here we go. I did my five. Now I'm going to trace it. Five. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to put this over there. This goes back in its pile. Five. What comes after five? Four. Okay, let's do four. All right, with four articles of clothing. Four. No curves, just straight lines, right? Short straight line down, short straight line across, and long straight line down. So I'm thinking in my head, what can I use for short straight lines? I think I'm just going to use t-shirts and another t-shirt so short straight line down short straight line across pick up my hand and go to the top and make a straight line down okay there's number four but i only used three oh miss boo that was only three i needed four articles of clothing Hmm, maybe I will have to put this back or fold it in half and maybe use the other one and fold this in half. Now, did I use four articles of clothing? One, two, three, four. I did. I used four to make four. Very good, Miss Boo. Okay. So at home, you can continue working on if you feel like it, okay. Number three, which looks like this. Number two, number one, and of course, don't forget, number zero. Okay. Enjoy building your numbers, okay.